Good morning, Stephen. Yes, I'm in sunny Bridlington. And as you say, this is a safe, conservative seat. We're here at Ivanhoe Guest House and we're going to speak to the owner about her views. Good morning, you're live on GB News. Introduce yourself for us. Good morning, I'm Wendy and I'm the owner of the Ivanhoe Guest House. Would you like to come on in? I would. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. So, Wendy, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, we've owned the Ivanhoe here for about four years and um, we're a family-run business. Um, and we welcome everybody who wants to come and stay with us. And thank you for having us as well. So what we're talking about at the moment, uh, what the, the news is, you yeah. know, not just in Britain, but globally people are talking about yeah. it. Boris Johnson stepping down as Prime Minister. What's your take on that? Thank goodness. I'm really glad to see the back of him. I think as a business owner, we'll always be really grateful to his government for all of the financial support that we had getting us through the pandemic, because I don't think we'd have kept our home and our business otherwise. However, the man just doesn't seem to have any integrity. And I think whatever job you do and whatever walk of life you're in, integrity is really important. Um, so I really do think it was time to go. He's done the right thing. And Bridlington it is a safe Conservative seat. How did you vote last time and, and will it change in the ne next election? That's a really difficult question. I've always been a Labour voter, but admittedly I did vote Conservative because I felt there was a lot of uncertainty and, and I didn't think that was good for the country and for anybody. So on this occasion I did vote Conservative, conservative because I wanted to get Brexit done. But with hindsight, I felt that I made a mistake. And if I'm honest, I think we'd have been better staying as part of Europe now that we know sort of all the chaos that it's caused, and particularly in our industry, because it's caused a lot of issues with, um, with supply chains, with staffing. So, you know, with hindsight, I would have done it differently, but I didn't. <laughs> and next Prime Minister, who do you think that should be? That's really hard, because normally there is somebody that I feel is kind of on the same page as me and sort of inspires me, but... At the moment, that there really isn't anybody. In fact, I'd say I could do a better job myself. <laughs> Big-headed, I know, but I do. I just There's nobody there at the moment that, that kind of speaks to me as a voter. Thank you so much for speaking to us this morning, Wendy. And Stephen and Anne, if you do get to Bridlington, it's a lovely guest house here. Do come and visit.